We have an awesome map already made. Run, click, click, click. Oh, frown. I'm losing points. I'm gaining points with the happy face somewhere, somewhere. Ooh, ja. Ooh, ja. You get the idea. If you don't have this, make sure to check out my last tutorial. Let's make it more advanced. I'm going to hit reset here and let's take a look at what we have code wise. I actually might limit this from 400. It went off the page sometimes. I'm going to do a 350 here and here. Okay. And with that being said, I also want to set up a timer. So there's a few things we're going to add. I'm going to head into design mode. I'm on screen one. I'm going to click. Notice it says screen one. I'm going to name this game screen. That way we know. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a new label. And actually I lied. I'm going to click on my old label for score and hit duplicate because I can just drag this up and now call it timer and I'll say label and then I'll say timer or I can say clock even up to you. You just needed them to know this is what they have to keep track of. All right. Now, with that being said, this all looks good. Let's go ahead and do my next screen. Now, if you want to put text next to this that says time or text about this that says score, go for it. Next screen, drop. And I'm going to say game over. And I'll go ahead and throw a label up here. Game over title. And I'll have it say game over. Gonna have this be large. Center this. Maybe like that. And then I'm gonna have their score. Maybe I'll put score with all this. Game over score. And this is gonna be, well, their score. So final score, we'll call this. And I'm just gonna put score here for now as a placeholder. Now, I'm also going to want a button to get them back to the main screen so they can try again. So I'm going to grab a button and put this. And this will just say, restart button. And it will say, restart. Increase the font of that guy a bit. Awesome. I am loving this. You could get fancy or an added image, but I'll keep this simple for now. So, game screen, looking good. Let's head back to our code. All right, first off, the timer. What we're going to do, there's some in-house stuff with code.org that's really cool. So I'm going to head over to control, and under control, they have this thing called timed loop. I'm just going to pull this guy out here. Now, a timed loop is, well, what it says it is. If you click on it when you're hovering and you click see examples, what it tells you here, and you should always use this, is this is in milliseconds. So if I put a 500 here, that's half a second. A thousand here is a full second. So that means every second right now, any code inside of this will run. And I mean, if you don't believe me, what if I put this here, set the position and do run. Every second, the smile is gonna jump around, the plus button, right? And if I set that to, oops, just undo that. And if I set this to 500 every half second, every second's great. We're going to now need a variable for our timer. So I'm going to go up here, var, and right under line one, I'm going to put timer and I'm going to give them 30 seconds. So I'm going to set this equal to 30. Now I could call it seconds or something like that too. Up to you. What I'm going to do is similar to what I did with score here. Inside of my time loop, I'm going to say, Timer is equal to, head over to math, timer minus one. Now, every second, right, because this one runs once a second, this will run. I'll subtract one from timer, but then I need to make sure to update this. And just like we did with the score, set number, we could also use set text, but I'll use set number. I'm going to put it under this, though, to make sure it goes joop and then joop. So, and then timer label, and I don't want it to be zero, I'm going to set it to our variable, which is timer. All right, so that gets us all the way down to 30 seconds, or to the end, but who cares? What's going to stop them from playing, right? Because that's what we need to have happen. 
this is where we're going to use a conditional or an if statement. So I'm going to go into control and an if statement, we can ask the computer a question. So I'm going to grab out just this if and put it on line 17. If what we're going to ask is I want to know if they're out of time. So if blank, let me head into math and grab a, I want to know if the timer is less than or equal to zero, right? Because if they're timer and by timer, guys, keep in mind, we're talking this variable and I'm taking one away from it each loop, right? Timer equals time one minus one. So this runs once a second. What happens here? It says, okay, well, what's timer equal to? It says the computer says, oh, timer needs a new value. And so it looks over here first and says, what's timer currently equal to 30? 30 minus 1 is 29, smack. Timer's new value is 29. It sets the number to 29, hits the bottom of this, waits 100, 1,000 milliseconds, one second, runs again. It says, oh, timer needs another value. What's its old value? Well, it was 29, so now it's 28, smack. New value updates this. We're going to check, though, here if timer, and maybe I should have called this seconds, maybe, but if timer is less than or equal to 0 because then the game's over. What I'll do, if this is true, anything inside this blue mouth will run. And so once that's true, I'm gonna say stop the time loop. I'm then gonna go and set the screen, stop the time loop, set the screen to my game over screen. Oops, yikes, game over, that would really mess us up. Game over, maybe I should name these different. Set it to the game over screen. Then we need to update our score. So let's do that just like our score, our timer. So let's do that just like we did set number. We're going to use set number for the set number squared label. We're going to do set number. Except this time, what is it called? Game over screen, final score. And we already have a variable score. Let me show you what we got. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch me play the whole game, but I'm awesome at it. Ah, okay, so this isn't going as well as I had hoped. Don't judge me. Uh. Oh, two, one, boom. Game over, nine. So now we need this to work. I also want to center that text. Design mode, game over. thought I did that, but I didn't. Center, okay. And now we need that last button to work. So not a drop down on the event that restart is clicked. What do we want to do? First, I need to set all my variables to zero. So inside of this, zero, zero. Score is going to be equal to zero. So they have to restart. Timer is going to be equal, well, not zero. We need to restart the timer. So the timer will have to be 30. We're not done yet, though. We need to update both of those, right? We got to get them to display what we just set, their new values. So set number, set number. And this is what's nice about having good IDs, timer label. Put these in the same order. Yep. And there's one last thing I want to do. And oh, set the screen. Game screen. Game screen, not game over screen. The other thing, guys, is redundancy. Notice in my code, set number score label. So I set the score. I randomize the plus button. I randomize the minus. Notice down here, I set the score, I randomize plus, I randomize minus. The only difference between when I click on the minus button and the plus button is whether I add or subtract from score. So that's a really good place to use a function. And I know it says function here. We're going to use a separate one. I'm going to go into functions, grab this guy, and, you know, I'll drop it above my time loop. And I'm going to say um, button buttons button clicked that's what i'll name this so a button has been clicked and maybe i could say smile you can pick the name of course figure out something better and i'm going to take this right here this stuff update score change the plus change the minus and now instead of doing it there i'm going to say button clicked because that will do the same thing, except we don't have to repeat this code. Every time I say button clicked now, it's going to say, oh, what the heck is that? Oh, smack. Finds this code and runs this stuff inside.
Hmm, actually, oh, we got to start our timer. So what it's doing is we hit stop timer here. We really shouldn't keep it running, but this will work fine. Boom. Two, one, boom, 15. And now if I click restart, we're off to the races. It'd be better not to leave it running in the background, but ta -da! we have an awesome, awesome game. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have fun with it. Do something so awesome. Add another character, add more time, add different levels. Have fun with it. Onward.